our universe, everything we see around us was determined when the universe was smaller than an atom and only a fraction of a second old. Our universe is cooling and dying. In a billion years from now, our first unmanned spacecraft like Voyager 1 will leave the Milky Way and drift unhindered through the universe. As the universe reaches middle age, even the longest lived stars will start to burn out. Our sun has about five billion years of life left and very few stars will still be shining 10 billion years from now. The dead stars will still orbit around the center of the galaxy, but their collisions will gradually cause most of them to fall into a giant black hole at the center. Suppose we look ahead to when the universe is 100 billion years old. Then it would be a rather um, dull and dark place because all but the faintest and most slow burning stars will have died so the universe will not only disperse but all the galaxies will get fainter. As the universe expands with age, gravity will lose its precarious grip. If you could be there to witness it, you would see absolutely nothing. Is there anything the human race could do to flee from such a dark fate? Could we escape into another dimension, into another universe? The best ideas that uh, people have come up with do suggest that maybe our Big Bang was not the only one, and that the inflation which led to our universe may have happened elsewhere, maybe an infinite number of times, in some grand eternal cosmos. If other universes do exist, could we ever find a way of traveling into one? It's incredibly interesting that there's a lot more we don't know about the universe than, than we do, in spite of all we've learned up to date. And therefore, some of the wild ideas from science fiction, including things like even wormholes, might or might not be possible. We just don't know at this point. Wormholes are another prediction of Einstein's theories. Here, space is so twisted that it forms a tunnel from one universe to another. Even if these hypothetical holes in space and time do exist, entering a neighboring universe could be unwise. Travel into one where the laws of physics are even slightly different from our own, and you'd cease to exist at all. Even though we have very small brains and we lead very brief lives and so on, the fact is we're able to understand uh, where we are, and because we can use instruments like the big telescopes, the physics that we learn on the surface of the Earth, and the ideas that people have had over the last few centuries to build up a coherent picture. of, And I think we should be proud of that. We've done pretty well. I feel it's been a great privilege and a huge amount of luck to be present to witness an important science like cosmology hit its peak. In some way, creatures like us, and there probably are many, are the consciousness or the intelligence of the universe. It's almost as if the universe invented a way to know itself. After centuries of gazing at the heavens, scientists now know that everything in our universe was born 12 billion years ago. 
Before the Big Bang, there was nothing. This violent explosion gave birth to everything we can see. Countless galaxies, stars and planets, even life itself.